Midco Sports tonight. It's our FCS weekend wrap. We'll recap the games, hear from the coaches, then our experts break it all down to see what we can take from week two. After that, Elena Lanson joins me in studio to go over some gridiron greatness from the national scene over the weekend. And we'll see what's a win or a loss in her book. And finally, Jody and Jandy recap the prep football happenings from the past few days. All of that plus much more, Midco Sports Tonight kicks off right now. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Kelly Stewart, excited to kick off another week of Midco Sports Tonight with you all. And speaking of kickoffs, let's jump right into football. We had two home openers for our FCS squads over the weekend, so let's start in Brookings, SDSU, and Montana State. The SDSU defense forces a three and out on the first five possessions of the game by Montana State. And the Jacks hold the Bobcats just 44 yards in the first half. After the Jacks punt on their first two drives, Taryn Christian to Cade Johnson, 7-0 SDSU. Second quarter, same connection, little flip pass to Johnson, flying by defenders, 24 yards for the score. SDSU in front, 14-0. Christian and Johnson just getting started. The play of the night right here, great throw, better catch. Let's watch this again by Cade Johnson, the one-handed grab. Forget about Dallas Goddard, look at Cade Johnson. Eight catches for 131 yards and three scores in the first half. Jacks were up 24-0. Fourth quarter, another great throw, another great catch. That's a touchdown catch for Cade Johnson. Matches Dallas Goddard and Jake Winicky. School record, four touchdown grabs in one game. SDSU in one game, SDSU blows out Montana State 45-14. Jacks have 512 yards of offense. Coach John Stiegelmeyer was loving how his defense played though. I thought we came ready to play. I had a great environment here. Uh, really appreciate the crowd, uh, really appreciate the students. But bottom line is when our guys walked out of the tunnel, they were ready to play their best football and especially the defense really came out to play. It's one of the things that we noticed and maybe it was because we missed the first game, but uh, just the energy on the field, the way the guys were running the ball. Now, if you have all those three and outs, you shouldn't get tired. But uh, yeah, again, they started out strong and they finished strong. All right, joined by our play-by-play -play guy for SDSU, Tom Neiman. Jackson, 45-14, surprised by the outcome, Tom. I look, not that the Jacks won the game, but by the margin that they mm -hmm. won it by, by 31 points. But uh, one of the biggest factors in this game, really, was that Montana State had to go without this guy, their quarterback, Troy Anderson, who started last week, injured his hand in that win over Western Illinois, and he had that little brace on before the game. He had it casted up, only had two carries for three yards during the game. So uh, Montana State had to go to a redshirt freshman quarterback making his first start in his career and the Jacks were ready for it. They had two interceptions, held the Cats to 29 yards rushing on 23 attempts. Jordan Brown with an interception there. And the SDSU defense in this game had nine times that they forced a three and out. They only had 44 tackles in the game, a low number. There weren't any huge tackle numbers, but it was a really good defensive performance to start for South Dakota State. Great defense, but perhaps a more important offensive individual performance for the young wide receiver, Kate Johnson, ties Jake Winicky, ties Dallas Goddard yeah. for his, their single game records. Yeah. I mean, pretty good. Pretty cool for him. He was yeah. so excited to get the season started, and he was incredible, but Taryn Christian was right there with him. This was a great throw under pressure on that one-handed catch for the touchdown uh, by Kay Johnson. And then a throw here to Adam Anderson in the third quarter. Didn't miss him long, didn't throw it short. It was just perfect, it was beautiful. And he was throwing this all night. That led to a touchdown run by Mikey Daniel after that 51 yard completion. And then the fourth touchdown throw that we saw to Kay Johnson, just over the hand of the cornerback, just out of reach of the safety there. Taron Christian was seeing it so well and delivering it. He goes 21 to 29. Uh, passing 72%. He was 58% last year mm -hmm. uh, throwing the football, and that's one of his goals this year is to get that completion percentage back up to about 65%, and if he does that, he's going to have a monster year. For the Aired Jets. it out extremely well, really but coming did. into this year, I mean, fans thought, coaches thought he might have to run it a little bit more, and did we get any answers in this game? Uh, kind of a little bit, I think. Uh, there was some thought that maybe he was going to have to run it a little bit more without being able to throw it to Dallas Goddard and Jake Winicky, but he's going to be very selective about when he takes off and runs when he did tuck it under on Saturday. He either slid early or got out of bounds, and that is by design. They don't want him taking any hits when he's running the football, and the Jacks have some running backs. They had 193 yards rushing between Mikey Daniel and Isaac Wallace and C.J. Wilson in this game. So all in all, really good all-around performance by South Coast State. Well balanced, and they are back at home this Saturday. Arkansas yeah. Pine Bluff yes. at the Dyke House. That is coming up. We'll have more on that game coming up later this week. Alright, and then one more thing. Yes. Jacks alum Brian Witzman signed with the Minnesota 
Minnesota Vikings Very today. Very cool news. He was with uh, Kansas City for two years, uh, the offensive lineman, uh, former Jack Rabbit. Chiefs cut him for some reason. They brought in another guy, but Witzman signs with uh, Minnesota today, so very nice. All right, congrats to him. Thank you so much, Tom. All right, thanks, Stu. All right, don't go anywhere when we come back. Tom's out, Jay's in. We are talking USD football. Stay with us.